You know something? Sometimes we all need a change of scenery. It helps with a productive mindset, especially when it comes to a desk setup. Sometimes you gotta move things around to make it look and feel right. I definitely needed that and I decided to take advantage of it with a couple of monitors that have showed up from Pixio. I loved both of them equally and I wanted to incorporate them into my setup. So today I'm going to show you how I did just that by stacking my ultra wide monitor from Pixio and a 144Hz display from Pixio into my new stacked monitor setup. So let's get right into it shall we? So for my main display for a couple of weeks now I've been using the PX247C ultra wide from Pixio which I have a review of if you hit the eye in the top right corner along with the other monitor which I'm going to mention here in just a minute. But regardless I love the ultra wide monitor and still do but the one thing that really 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 hurt it especially in the review and something that was preached from a lot of reviewers is a lack of a vase amount. Now Pixio heard this loud and clear from the reviewers and the public who bought this monitor and decided to release an adapter that would fix this. Once it dropped I had to get a sample from them so I slid into their inbox and managed to get them to send me one over and I knew from that very moment that I needed to change my setup around with this ultra wide monitor and some monitor arms. Now I needed at least two monitors for productivity so the the other one ended up being the new PX277, which is an awesome display. 144Hz, 1440p, it is great for gaming, but I love my ultra wide for work. So I have both, the best of both worlds, right? So I opted for a stacked monitor look with the ultra wide monitor below for work and the 144Hz 1440p display above for gaming and streaming. As you can tell, getting the setup put all together took some time. I had to take the AOC monitors off the wall that were there before that complemented the ultra wide before adding the secondary display and then remove a shelf that held an extra TV that honestly I never ended up using. A little cleanup and assembling a couple of monitor arms that I got off Amazon, which you can check in the description down below if you're interested. Pretty easy and pretty affordable monitor arms to set up. I managed to slowly but surely attach each monitor to the respective stands and then with trial and error adjusting, I ended up with this. Now I absolutely love the way this turned out. While yes, looking up at the monitor above me for gaming does induce a little bit of neck strain, I'm not gonna lie to you. But I'm using the gaming monitor far, far less than the monitor that I'm using below for work, which is why the ultra wide is so great to have. So I made that compromise knowing that I can have the ultra wide below for when I'm working most of the time. And then when I do my live streams, I have the monitor above me, which really isn't as bad as you might think, especially with the angle tilt that I have it at. It's not that uncomfortable. Simply leaning back in my chair a little bit helps this a ton. Also, while I was already doing this monitor upgrade, I decided to move my second PC to my desk setup. My i7-5820K streaming PC that I take advantage of using the NDI plugin with OBS. I made a video of that as well. If you hit the same eye, you can check that video out. But in short, it allows me to just capture what's going on on my main gaming rig and transfer it over my network with no lag or latency issues and have the second PC do all the encoding work and uploading work and allow my main PC to not have any performance loss while gaming. It's a really awesome technology and a great alternative to using a capture card setup, which can get very complex and expensive. While my desk is slightly crowded for some and doesn't have a minimalistic look, it is perfectly functional for me. This setup is gonna last me a long time into the future and I'm gonna need it since a majority of my days are gonna be here for the next couple of years because of online college classes starting up along with Work for Talency and the YouTube channel. I gotta brace myself for the long run here. And that about wraps this video up here, guys. If you liked this video, leave a like down below and comment monitor arm in the comment section down below if you made it this far. And if you're interested in any of the products I used in this video, they will all be located in the description down below using affiliate links. You buy something, it helps support the channel and I get a small kickback, so that's really awesome. But also, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, follow us on Twitter for more behind the scenes coverage and comment down below what your setup is like. If you use an ultra wide monitor, or high refresh rate display, or if you have some something similar to mine, or if you have any critiques of my setup, I would love to hear it down below. Hope to see you all in the next video, guys. Peace out.